Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm Alan. Nice to meet you all. Today we have a we'll continue a conversation with Georgia. She is currently in UK ready, and she is going to study the primary education degree in the Bristol University of West of England. Hi, Georgia. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Alan? I'm great too. Thank you so much. In this video, we as we are going to talk about how do you survive. From the COVID,、uh, how do you survive from the remote learning during the COVID period? So during the gap year, when you are teaching in、uh, the when you, when you are when you were a、uh, teacher assistant in the boarding school, do you do a lot of remote teaching or preparation at home?、Um, I didn't do any remote learning because I wasn't.、Uh, um, I don't know how else to put like an actual teacher. Therefore, the teacher did all the remote learning,、mm. and there were children here called critical care worker children, and so that was you know the children of nurses,、uh, policemen that had to be out, and so the kids could still come to school, and we would just supervise them, help them with any questions they had,、um, and just supervise. Okay, okay, is is that was that easy? No, not at all. There was like twenty children. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a, a small, a small class teaching for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So,、um, during this period,、uh, in the for like e-learning or remote learning,、um, you have mentioned quite a few interesting activities in your last video. So, for example, family quiz.、Uh, yeah. You learn the British sign language. You start a movie club. So, first of all, like for the family quiz, how how do you do that? Like、um, what kind of quiz is it? I mean, first of all, we did it to make sure that we could still see each other because、um, it's been I think a year since I've been home and seen my parents. So it's just it was nice to see them and still talk to them.、Um, and it was just questions like、um, big topics. So each member of the family, there's four of us. Would do a topic, so whether that's animals or like colors or something, you'd come up with like all of these questions, and you'd make a cahoot, and then on Zoom you could share your screen, and you'd like play remotely, and it was all quite fun. <laughs> so like it could be a game. Yeah. It could be a game. Yeah.、Ooh. Who who raised the questions? I mean, who raised the topics? Um. Like in the call, who did the quiz? Yeah, yeah. Like you, 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 you may also like choose the topic of that the、yeah. family quiz, right? The color. So who did that? Um, every week we did it ourselves. So we have like a WhatsApp family chat, and um, every week you had to say what your topic was, so that no one had like the same topic, and you would choose like your own topic. So, yeah. So sweet. And how long would would that <laughs> would that quiz be? Um, the call maybe like two hours, three hours. <laughs> wow, was that stressful? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And you can last every time. <laughs> well, like, okay.、Um, for the quiz, any prize rewards?、Um, the prize was that you could brag. You could like, yeah. You could shove it in people's face and say, "I won." That was probably it. It's <laughs> <laughs> no actual prize. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's cool. So, and then you you learn about a sign language, a British sign language. You did did you, did you do that through YouTube, or did、um, you do it in a by a course? It was、um, like a mixture of things. So I started off looking at like paid courses that you could do every week. Um, but I just didn't think that I could like keep it up, so I thought、um, like YouTube would be the best. And then there are like apps that you can download, and you search、um, the word that you want to sign, and then it comes up with the action. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> By the way, would you would you like to show us how do you say a hi? How are you in a British、um, language? I can say hi. My name is Georgia, and that I'm nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah.、Um, go ahead. Hello.、Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. My name is Jay. 
O R J A. The alphabet is quite easy. Like the letter P is this, like you make a P. The right. letter Q is this. Oh, just like that. Yeah. That is cute. And the vowels are A, oh. I, O, U. Oh, how long did you learn that? Um, I've stopped now and I, I want to pick it back up, but I only spent like two, three months when I was getting bored and wanted to learn like a new skill. Right. Um, months. Is there any um, sign language group you have joined before? No. no. Okay. Those are just self learn and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but like, yeah, it's still like, like a hobby for you to kill some time. Mm. But sometimes during the time break, the break time will be really boring. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> there, there, there's nowhere to go. No way. <laughs> nothing to do. Oh, yeah. So you started a movie club. Mm. How many people is is that still running right now? No, no, it was only when I was at King's College. Um, so it was only when the lockdown in the UK first started. Um, so, oh my god, that was 2020, like in mm. March, everyone right. was on remote. Um, me and my drama teacher made the movie club on Zoom, and every week, um, she would give a movie, we would all watch it, and then you basically just talk about it for like 20 minutes. Mm. Okay, that's nice, that's really good enough. Do you got some new members to join? Did I have new members? Yeah, there are new members. Well, do you recruit some new members through the social media or like Facebook? Or basically it's like you're, you're with your own, your own friends? Um, no, I just... Because we had something called Teams. I'm not sure if Hong Kong does that. The Teams, you mean the Microsoft team? Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. right. Uh, so at school, everyone was like in one group. Oh. Um, so I sent a message saying, uh, uh, talk. so yeah. Okay. I think anyone, because you would just send the link and anyone can join. Mm. You, you mentioned that you uh, have a, a dyslexia. So during this COVID period time of time, do you feel any difficulty? Do you have any difficulty or uh, is there any, how does the school actually support you during this period of time? Um, during COVID, it was slightly hard to get a lot of support because you were kind of left to your own devices and you couldn't mm. do any face-to-face work. Yeah. Um, so I use, um, like a, a filter. It's like a green, you know, cling film, like the see-through plastic. Yeah, 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 that one, yeah, yeah. Basically, um, people with dyslexia have like different colors that help them. Um, and so I've got a colored filter that I put over things so I can read it easy. So I just put that on my laptop screen. I put what? that in the book papers. Um, but I felt a lot of pressure during COVID time because they let you do like essays to help maybe get your grade up but they based it off your exams you did before you left and I didn't do very well or I didn't do as well as I wanted and so I felt a lot of pressure so right for sure mm. and the school will, will, will they will support you through like they were always going to like monitor or help you they have to meet them once a few times a week to talk about the challenges? Yeah, so when, um, before COVID, um, I used to go to the learning support office. And mm. if I had homework or any essays I needed help writing or needed help reading, then I would go to her for maybe 45 minutes every week. Mm. Um, she would just help. Yeah. Right. So um, you're going to have your uh, studies in university this September. Is there a e-learning, remote learning arrangement, especially for this year? Or the phys all the physical classes will be resumed? I think it's physical classes. I haven't heard anything about um, it being remote learning or being on like Zoom. Um, the lecture halls are all open. So I think it's all like physical learning and being in classrooms and teaching. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, at least you got some physical class, physical classes now. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
So my last question of today is for the students who would like to study abroad or for the students uh, who is considering to study abroad, any word of advice you would like to share to them? Push yourself. Push yourself. Yeah, get stuck in, don't be nervous. You're going to be nervous, but like make friends and enjoy your time than like being by yourself and being scared because you can then enjoy your time and do what you love and like have fun. Right. Yeah, well, going to studying abroad, studying abroad, studying overseas is quite a big step already. I think when you push yourself a little bit more, you will see a total new world, a total new lens of a whole culture, a new learning environment for sure. Mm. Yeah, great. Thank you so much, Georgia. Thank you for sharing experience. And then those activities, I think the audience, the students should learn more, like to be more creative, to find some family quiz or the friends quiz, or <laughs> find some different kind of languages you would like to learn. It doesn't matter how long we learn, but at least you pick up some new hobbies. Maybe one day you will find your, your favorite interest. Yeah. So, <laughs> so thank you so much, Georgia. And I really hope that you have a very successful start and go on with your, your studies. And yeah, I will be a successful teacher very soon. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Take care. Thank you so much. Bye bye. So everyone, bye. please, if you have any comments, please write some comments down there and we will uh, reply to you soon. Thanks. Bye bye.